Over the last two weeks, I've been spending a lot of time out here on my model train layout, doing a lot of model train stuff, especially around the corner in the ox cart block area. I'll take you around there. I use a compass set for a radius of 17 and 1 half inches. Between the two halves, I have a 6 inch gap. I cover this section with a piece of scrap particle board because the centers will be located in that gap. I apply some basic high school geometry skills to pinpoint the arc center, start, and end locations. Following the pencil lines, I split, then glue, and pin the cork roadbed halves. I fill the gaps under the turnouts with small cork triangles. I will paint over the cork triangles so they blend with the rest of the cork roadbed. To make it all bland, I do a final coat of Camel Earth Brown spray paint. I do verify electrical continuity on all turnouts before I install them. One of the fun part of laying track is just trimming the track joiners. I end up setting all my track down on the roadbed to test fit it and make sure it fits in its location. I do use a combination of Atlas Flex Track and Snap Track to get better fits in certain locations, especially around locations that include insulated joiners and turnouts.
I end up using a straight edge and some track spacers to make sure the track is straight and parallel in these sections too so we don't have any kinks and it's a nice straight section of track. I know some people like to use glues and modern adhesives to hold their track down. I'm just still a fan of drilling the holes and using track nails. I think it works the best and that's what I'm going to do. Now if you look behind me here, this is the Oxbow Y. It's part of the Oxcart branch that needs to be completed to reach Enterprise Yard. So I'm going to be putting time in this area too. So if you want to see more videos on the Oxbow Y, check out these two videos. And as always, stay frosty my friends.